Hi, I'm John Storms, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use your Raspberry Pi running uh, the Falcon Pi Player FPP, how you can use it to drive your old Lightarama AC controllers. This is a Lightarama CTB16, and I have a, uh, I call it my Testarama hooked up to it, which is just uh, 16 light bulbs on 16 extension cords. So this is really, really easy. So this is my Raspberry Pi 2 running uh, FPP. <clears throat> this is the incoming power. This is the my uh, my file storage, and this is an Ethernet cable connecting it, connecting it to my home network, including my computer. A little SD card here to uh, hold the operating system. <clears throat> So what I do is I take this guy, which everybody recognizes. This is a, a USB 45B. Basically, it converts from USB to RS-485. And I hook this up to a USB cable, which normally goes back to my computer running Lightarama. But instead, I'm going to hook it up to one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi. Okay. Uh, for grams, let's see where. I'm on, this is my HDMI cable to the TV, just so I can watch it boot up. That's optional. <coughs> now, from here, on the other end, are these RJ45 jacks. These are not Ethernet. These are running. Uh, RS-485, which is a serial protocol. And so I run this Cat5 cable over to one of the Lightarama COM ports. I plug it in. So, I have my Raspberry Pi connected to my RS-485 adapter connected to my Lightarama AC control. So now I just power stuff on. Okay, powering on the controller, red light's flashing, power on the Raspberry Pi, the LED's blinking, I get the rainbow splash, and now the, the Raspberry Pi is coming up. Okay, so now I wait for that to boot up and switch over to the computer. Okay, so the next thing I need is I need a little sequence that I can actually run. So let me go start up the Lightarama control panel. Puts it in the system tray, right click, start the sequence editor. So I just have the one the one Lightarama box here, so I set up a, it's a quick little animation sequence of 16 channels long. Uh, so this gets saved as a .las file because it doesn't have any music. If it did, then it would be an LMS file, but they're essentially the same thing. One is just aligned to music, the other one isn't. So this gets saved out. The only thing is, is that the FPP running on the um, on the Raspberry Pi can't play Lightarama files natively. Um, what happened was years ago, a guy named Matt Brown uh, thought that these files were too big and too slow, and they are. They're very big. Uh, they're they're XML files. So what he did is he created a binary representation, and they're saved as .fsq files. Um, Xlights is now part of Nutcracker. So what I want to do is I want to convert this over to a .fsq file. It's the same thing. It's just binary. So I go and I start up Xlights. And Xlights is very easy to find. Just go out on Google, search on Nutcracker 123 Xlights, and you will be taken to, you'll find the, the download page, and it is free. Very nice. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a new show directory. Let's see, new folder, we'll call this one X Lights Test. Okay, select. Uh, now I need to configure my little network here. So this is Lightarama, port not connected, baud rate 19 to last channel. This is the part that it needs. It's 16 channels long. Okay, save setup. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this. So I go to Tools on the menu bar, select Convert choose files. I come down here and I say LAS files for Lightarama animation sequence. 
here is my simple 16 channels and let's see I want to turn everything off at the end the output format is going to be this dot FSCQ uh, map empty LMS channels yes map LMS channels with no network no 50 milliseconds for the timing start conversion and it's done so what I do next is I close this out now I go to a web browser so it's been con converted there's a dot FACQ file there now so now I open up my web browser I'm gonna go to my Raspberry Pi that's running FPP which is at 10 0.0213 okay so here you can see that it's running so what I want to do first is I want to configure um, my channel outputs so I go to input output setup channel outputs and I want to tell it that I have a lot of ROM out there so I click on the other tab and here I already have it set up so let me delete it so you can see me adding it so I'm going to click add and I say what type and I say light rama how many channels well 1 to 16 I have a one controller out there port this is on TTY USB. TTY stands for uh, teletype machine. It was for deaf people. <coughs> and Unix kind of picked it up. So in this case, it is USB 0, and the speed is 19.2. So even though it's USB, it's doing serial over USB, which is why it has the speed. So I click active. I hit save. It wants to restart the FPP daemon. OK. Now I go to the Content Setup tab, go to File Manager, come down here to say Upload Files, I select Files, and I go to that directory I created, which I, it's Xlight's Test, and I want to use the simple 16channel.fsq file. This is my converted file. Okay, it's uploaded. Now I can go to the Status Control tab, select Display Testing, go to the sequence tab and here my sequence you know has the sequences all there and I just have the one so all I do is I just hit play see right there it's working so that's the little uh, the little simple animation sequence I created for this controller so it is just simply the Raspberry Pi in this case it's a 2.0 I have um, this USB connector or this USB cable running up to our tried and true Lightarama RS45 adapter and then this is connected with a Cat5 cable into one of the COM ports of this CTB16 16 channel controller and it works